Hi everyone, welcome back to the Maz channel. Thanks for tuning in. I thought I would do just a little vlog, spend a few days with me, start it off with a little catch up. I could kick myself because I started to film and then realised that I should have turned it into a bit of a get ready with me. So I started filming halfway through doing my makeup. Um, the, the lighting is awful in here actually, so you probably can't see what I'm wearing anyway, but I was just using this boots palette thought I'd mention it um, I got it free a couple of years ago it's, or, or last year it's called the maple glow palette and um, it's brilliant I've never used it up until now but I absolutely love the colors in it you get four eyeshadows highlighter blusher kind of a contour and um, yeah two highlighters actually so that's what I'm wearing at the moment you probably can't see in fact the lighting is so bad in here I've actually had to draw the curtain so it's not shining on my face anyway I'm wearing the Rose Glow Revlon primer photo ready primer and um, I also bought some elf cosmetics as well I'm also wearing this uh, cheapy foundation from the natural collection um, and then I'm wearing this elf concealer I've got some elf products as well recently got the concealer and the um, mascara so I'm going to apply the mascara in a minute because I haven't quite finished my makeup yet but yeah the concealer is very pale this one is oh what did i get fair warm 16 hour camo concealer matte finish and it just really goes a long way but it's so so pale the tiniest little bit i'll just swatch it on my hand for you it really does go on very pale indeed but i mean it does the job but you do have to put another layer of foundation under it you know once you've done your triangle of concealer under your eye I do find that I have to go over it again with a bit of foundation. I'm just going to try this. So this is this is not a bad little mascara. This actually, I'm not quite sure what the bobble on the end of the brush is for. But yeah, the eyeshadows in this are just so pigmented. I absolutely love this terracotta colour here. It looks brilliant. Yeah, I've had my. I was lucky enough to have my second COVID shot on. Monday just gone, we're now for Saturday, so um, yeah, it all happened again. I realise I'm not as bad as I was on the previous video, um, but some of you will know that I've got a condition called CFS, which is Chronic Fatigue Syndrome, and I've been on my back basically for uh, the last the last week, but you know, it's worth it, isn't it? It's, um, it, it's worth it. Uh, I actually got it done, the first, the first time I got it done was in an arena, it was all very organised, everybody was kept way, way apart. You were apart from other people at all times. This one I went to a well-known chemist. You know, I can't fault the, the staff or anything like that, but I have to say I wasn't as comfortable with the arrangements in there. We were kind of queuing down an aisle of products, so there was nothing to stop other customers from, you know, if they wanted to, coming down the aisle and browsing the products and getting close to you. That didn't happen. But it could have done um, and then it was kind of in the corner of the room this little clinic the chairs where you had to wait to get your jab done um, they were so close together they were less than two meters apart with a screen in between but the screen was made out of two pieces of perspex plastic with a gap about that much of about that much in between each one so it could have just traveled literally straight through the screen um, you know it only came about this far in front of you so yeah I wasn't wasn't too happy about that symptom wise I would say the second shot for me wasn't as bad as um, the first one in the sense that the symptoms weren't as acute for so long so the first one I had like a fast heart rate um, temperature awful pain and everything for like 12 hours straight whereas this one the symptoms I'd say were milder uh, except for the tiredness which was worse except for the morning after the jab for a very short time I actually felt worse than the, the first jab I got up out of bed about 5 30 in the morning Kind of felt a bit clammy, not not too bad though. I really wasn't expecting what I felt when I stood up, which was uh, my legs had nearly gone. I was so weak and I was in the bathroom and my hands started to sweat to the point they were soaking. So yeah, but then I got back in bed and I was a lot better the next time I got up. 
so yeah still would encourage someone to get still would encourage people to get one um that's not meant to be discouraging in any way i just stress that but yeah that was my experience and i feel a bit more at liberty to talk about it now i think that more people have, have been given the opportunity to get one because i think you know um back a few months ago when only a few people had been given the opportunity you know it was a little bit more difficult to broach the subject not that I got mine in any sort of priority time at all I just had mine with my age group but you know um, it can open up a whole debate about well why have you had yours and I haven't had mine so yeah just thought I could mention it now a bit more freely yeah so I'm still very very tired I'm feeling a little bit better at the moment um, how long that will last I don't know but I thought I would perhaps vlog over the next couple of days. Um, we've got a couple of nice things planned actually. Um, one is going to be watching the football this afternoon because England are playing. This is the Revlon Endless Glow Highlighter Colour Stay and it's in Rose Quartz 002 so it's this one. So I've saved a couple of pizzas for that for this afternoon and uh, we're going to be watching that and then tomorrow the plan was as my other half is uh, Anglo-American so we were going to be celebrating July the 4th tomorrow with a barbecue and a few decorations and things but unfortunately this is the Mali Brow Beauty uh, Brow Fix I tend to use a black eyeshadow for my eye <laughs> brows, uh, but this is slightly more tacky, so I think it holds them the hairs together, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so we were going to celebrate July the 4th, but it is looking... I don't know if the weather's going to be any better tomorrow, so it really isn't going to be barbecue weather by the look of it. So we may just have to resort to having the barbecue food inside and doing it on the cooker and just kind of trimming up either the kitchen or the living room yeah I've got a few bits and bobs for that tomorrow from Amazon so I may show you a little mini Amazon haul on this video and um, I will probably pick up my vlog later today for the football game and then I may or may not vlog the July the 4th uh, tomorrow I thought I would go through the latest Avon catalogue. It's for July 2021. Um, I just love looking through this. I could go mental with it, honestly, because it's been so long since I've had a catalogue or been to browse in any shops that seeing this now, there's so much stuff that I would like to get. Um, I might make this a regular feature on my channel, actually, just going through it and picking out my best picks and what I order. So yeah, I'm sure you've probably all ordered from Avon before, but in case you haven't, you get like a little order form with your catalogue and you can just put all the stuff in that you want. Um, right, so let's have a look. Yeah, she actually stopped doing the um, the orders and the round during the lockdown, but now she's started up again. So yeah, I really like this one. Um, Avon Far Away Beyond Perfume. They actually do scented pages, so you can just rub to smell i love this one it's like yeah pear jasmine madagascan vanilla you can really smell the pear in it as well and it's got this kind of musky smell and that is how much is that one all three for 14 pounds and you get the beyond perf perfum perfume the body lotion and the pear spray as well it's like a mini one uh, they've also got this new Tokyo collection that's come out as well. So really like bold colours. And yeah, they do a really nice selection of nail polishes. I mean, £3 for some 60 second nail enamel. And then what I want to get is a lipstick. So I've seen a model in here wearing one that I like. But what I would really like to get is either... Um, maybe the blush nude or the carnation here so kind of like a natural color but with more of a pink hue to it and also another natural nude but with more of a brown hue so maybe this one in the pout color um, or I might go a shade darker than that and get the toasted and get the toasted rose as well these are 550 which I think is really reasonable 
Um, here, another thing I picked out is this serum foundation. So it's a cross between a serum and a foundation, which I haven't seen before. And then this model here is wearing the colour that I really like. Um, what she's wearing but that is what I want to get that kind of nude just really pale pink these I also really like these are the uh, eyeliners so um, I used to sing and I really used to like this kind of sparkly makeup so anything a bit 70s such as the teal or the twilight sparkle really like this sugar plum and a silver as well not that I'm going to get all those but I do really like that kind of 70s vibe. Another thing I picked out was this Euphoric uh, Mascara, which is £9. Doubles the volume of your lashes, enriched, enriched with a caring blend of keratin and castor oil, and water resistant and won't clump or smudge. Yeah, I really like the packaging on that, and I would go for the black, definitely. Another thing I really like is this, and the model happens to be wearing my favourite colour, which is the Avon Gel Shine, and this is in Morning Light. So yeah, I really like that kind of pale pink colour. I also really want to get a silver or maybe a grey, so uh, there's Zen Moment there as well. And I really like that blue actually. It's here, more lipsticks here, so maybe the Refreshing Petal, or uh, the... Well, the essential mocha might be a goer for me. See, I'm wondering whether this is the lipstick that I... This is the lip gloss that I liked on the model earlier in the book. And maybe it's in the uh, pink pout. This is the Plumpet Lip Gloss. And it's £3.50. And I have had an Avon lip gloss before. And it's been really good, so... Another thing I picked out was this. Um, it's a best-selling kind of cream to powder foundation. Uh, they do it in a wide range of colours and this is only £7, which is really good because anything like that in boots and you're looking at about £15. Um, so I've got a number 7 one at the moment, but I will try this one afterwards. Jumbo bronzer here for £8, which again for the size of it I think is really good. Another thing I thought was good with these lip kits, uh, you can get them in satin and matte. Uh, I like the satin in either the Zoe or the Fran colours. You get a lip liner as well with the set. Something else I really like the look of is this overnight sleep gel. I just really like the packaging. It's from Avon Distillery, a sleep potion. You get the night cream and you can also get shade the day cream. As, but they are £16 a piece so they're a bit, a bit dear. But I did see this cheaper one that I liked the look of before which is the avon ageless protecting day cream and then the overnight gel just really like the look of that one and they are six pound each another one of my top picks is this avon lucky me i think that smells beautiful you can get the whole set which is like a eau de parfum body lotion and purse spray for £16. I'm really tempted to buy that. Sparkling Fizz Accord Vanilla Orchid and Sandalwood. It smells quite a lot like Avon Look for her, which I've already got. Uh, but I really like that. like the bottle as well. This is a really good buy as well. Avon Soft Musk. It's only a fiver. It's got like this vanilla-y musky smell to it. I would also fancy some of these argan oil treatments for their hair as well. And they've also got a spray as well. So what else have we got? £2.50 for that big bottle of Hansan. So have we got, oh yeah, this. I really like these um, Avon Care coconut flavour things. Coconut scented things. So you've got shampoo, conditioner and body lotion and body wash. And a hand cream as well. And they're all like £2.50 to £3 each. Lots of jewellery and bags and things. Don't really want any of those at the moment. Even underwear and pyjamas for really reasonable prices. This is really nice. This vanilla bean candle. I like the look of that. And how much is that one? That's £4. And if you want a picnic blanket, that's 12 Or a cool bag for 14 for your picnics. This is something I need, this storage cube for my bedding, and this is £8. We've got some stuff for kids in here as well. And, oh yeah, these hand washers, they're only a pound. Really like the sound of the Cherry Bomb one, actually. And uh, they've also got a Zen Mandarin and Jasmine. 
exotic fruit oh, and wild strawberry dreams as well I will probably get a couple of those and also the shower gels are really good £1.50 and there's all of these different scents I think I will go for the cherry if I was going to get one at all oh yeah and these room sprays are also really good I've got the coconut and star fruit and the vanilla sandalwood at the moment bubblegum bubble bath uh, and they are £2 for 500ml or two twenty five for a litre right and that's it for the Avon catalogue for today I'll um I will order a few of those things obviously not all of them but I will come back with another video with my Avon order and show you those at a later date hi everyone just picking up this vlog again we didn't do the 4th of July celebrations unfortunately I wasn't well enough so we've postponed them but I just thought I'd show you the little Amazon haul of stuff that I got for that um, so I've got these uh, sustainable fire lighters they're a pack of 60 and they're the natural ones before I tried the like old traditional ones they really stunk of kerosene and I thought these might be a bit better because I don't like the thought of it going on people's chests and burning chemicals particularly so I've got them for the barbecue so these are from Amazon the 60 pieces and they're about seven pounds something like that so also for the barbecue are these uh, lighters they're gas lighters and I got uh, three of these for a fiver so I didn't think that was too bad um, because we used a match before and uh, yeah you need to get further away than that and um, the other thing I got were these American flags bunting <laughs> this was about £2.49 um, it's got 11 flags on it in like a string so I thought I'd put them out maybe along the washing line or along the shed or something outside when we have the barbecue yeah also it was thundering that day as well so not only did i feel rubbish after the vaccine was thundering as well and raining so yeah it just wasn't the day for a barbecue and a celebration unfortunately and then last of all i got this uh le syrup de monin amaretto it's amaretto flavored syrup um we've also got some pure orange and some pure pineapple juice so i'm gonna put a little dash of this in there and make like a non-alcoholic cocktail because I can't drink unfortunately um, maybe even stick it in some dandelion and burdock as well <laughs> yeah so I got that there's several flavours of these on Amazon this was £5 something um, they did a coconut one a grenadine one and you know various other I think there was a peach various others I think there was a peach one as well but I thought I'd try this one. I think it's really made for um, so I don't know quite how it will go in a, a cocktail. But where I used to live, which there was a really nice little cafe that did ice cream cocktails with these syrups poured in. And they really worked. So yeah, watch this space on that one. And I'll come back to the vlog and vlog a little bit of the barbecue when we get to have it. This is one of the advantages of living across the road across the fence from a pub you get live music in your garden I was just going to get the dog fetching the ball that's all
look at this. I've got me Ava on order, haven't I? Really excited. So I thought I'd just show you what I got. Um, obviously I did the click through of the Avon catalogue earlier in the vlog. So this is from that order. Um, I've actually got a new catalogue as well now. So I'll probably do a separate video just looking through that with you. Um, but I'll show you what I ordered. So I stocked up on my hand soaps because I had a big bottle of palm olive like a refill and I'm running out. So I saw these Avon Senses. I've got Cherry Bomb and uh, the Infusions Collection Zen Mandarin and Jasmine Hand Wash. They're a pound each and you get 250 millilitres. I'll let you know what they smell like but I really like the sound of the uh, the Cherry Bomb and I always like orange hand soap anyway. So yeah, not bad for a pound. And then I also got these because I'm running low on my um, facial moisturiser. It's the Avon Ageless Protecting Day Cream and the Night Cream as well. So these were two of the things that I spotted when I went through the catalogue. They were £6 each and the Night Cream is like an orange colour, orange gel. And the, uh, the Day Cream was like a white colour. So I'll just show you that. It's coming quite a nice presentation box as well yeah so this is the this is the day cream it's got SPF 30 in it let's just see what it smells like Ooh. oh it smells lovely actually it kind of smells a bit like um, cucumber yeah definitely and it's got those kind of beads in it as well so I presume they're like a moisturising bead. So that is the that is the day cream. And then the night cream. So the night cream is this one. Just really attractive. I love the kind of orange jelly look to it. Again, it's got those kind of beads in it. Just have a little look at it. I don't know what that smells like actually it's got quite a fresh it's almost lemongrass sort of smell maybe it's not really citrus but I don't know maybe a bit lemony oh with green tea extract so there you go that answers the question um, and again it's got those beads in it as well uh, it says um, intensive overnight gel infused with vitamins and antioxidants that helps soothe the skin, replenishes skin from the damaging effects of our lifestyles and the environment while restoring skin's plumpness overnight so you can wake up to healthy, youthful skin. I will let you know uh, how these go by the way, but this is not really a testing video, it's just a haul. Um, it does have the uh, bunny symbol on it as well, so that's important for uh, being against animal cruelty. <coughs> And then I've got two lipsticks, uh, so one is in the Twinkle Pink and the other one is in Pout. Uh, so they're the, the colour differences on the labels there that you can just about see. Uh, but they were like a, one was a pale pink, the Twinkle Pink was a pale pink and the Pout was supposed to be like a nude to going towards brown colour, so a pinky brown. but. On these labels it seems to be the opposite way around. This is the Avon Ultra Creamy Lipstick. I'm just going to open them for you. They were £6 each I think. Are they? Oh no, five fifty each. Yeah. And they were called the Ultra Satin Lipstick. I do prefer like satin lipsticks to matte uh, myself. But it's each to their own really isn't it? But I do like a little bit of shine. Um, but not always, you know, I do like lip glosses for that same reason, but sometimes you just want something in between, don't you? So this is the Twinkle Pink. Yeah, this is more like what I was expecting. It is quite a, a pale pink colour there. And I just find as I get older that the nudes and the less bright coloured lipsticks do tend to suit me. I think the, the bright coloured ones can look a bit stark and make your teeth look different colours as well. And then this is the Pout one. So again, that's that's like slightly darker. Not a great deal of difference between between the two, really. 
but there is you can see a slight difference there so twinkle pink and pout and then finally for the Avon haul we've got this massive bottle of bubble gum bubble bath um, so let's just have a smell of this this is actually a present for him indoors because um, you know I'd, I like to get him something I don't like to sort of have a delivery and then he's got nothing to open I don't get an Avon delivery very often oh Oh, I'm not sure about that. That, oh no, that's not for me that. That smells like um, Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. But yeah, pretty bottle though, and I hope he likes it because uh, we've got loads of it now. <laughs> it might actually be nicer once it's in the water actually. I think it might be, you know, a bit more subtle once it's kind of diluted. But yeah, oh. Anyway, that's bubblegum, uh, Bubble bath. He had loads of these, loads of different um, ones, as you will have seen in the catalogue. Um, you can get it in two sizes as well. This is a thousand millilitres, and it was something like two fifty nine, something like that. So pretty good value. Right, that's it for the Avon haul. I'm going to move on to another part of the vlog. Okay, so it's a really nice heat wave here in England today. So we've decided to celebrate the Fourth of July, haven't we, honey? We have. So um, we're going to be making today, we're going to be doing some barbecue pork steaks in the slow cooker. So they've just been defrosted in the microwave. Yeah, so we're going to be colour. using Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce to go in there. So that will be about four and a half hours, won't it, honey? Yeah, yeah, I've never tried that before. It's a proper yeah. American one, isn't it? It is. And then we're going to be doing homemade potato salad as well, American potato salad. Ooh, and what's so, in that, um, mister? We've got potatoes, we've got... Um, we're going to use a green pepper, yeah. Uh, onions, and we're going to do some bacon in there as well. Was and it mayo and egg as mayo well? Mayo and some eggs in there as well. Yeah. So we're going to mix all that together, so we'll show that later on. So yeah, it's, it's a heat wave today, so once we've done that, we're going to get the barbecue out as well. We've got some just, you know, burgers and sausages to do on there. And then we're going to trim the garden up a little bit as well. Not a lot, just a little bit, aren't we, with a few we flags are. and stuff. That's it, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Get the barbecue out as well. So we're not going to vlog the whole lot because we're obviously spending a bit of time um, together. So we're just going to show you like little bits of it. And we're going to do sausages and burgers as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, ready? There you go. Okay, just mm -hmm. popping them in there. And then with the whole pot of barbecue sauce, isn't it? The mm -hmm. whole bottle. Look at that. Is that the best one, that brand? Yeah, it's one of them, one of the best ones. Yeah, there's a lot of them, a lot of different sources in America, but this is one of the more popular ones. Awesome, and that's going on for four hours, isn't it? Four and a half hours, yeah. Four and a half. On a low, um, on a low heat. On low, right. There you go, sorry for the launch. <laughs> There we go. So that will be all. So oh, yeah, we're going to put that on low. We're going to swing the, turn this round, so we can marinate Coat both it, sides, yeah. coating both sides, and that will marinate for about four and a half hours while we're doing the barbecue and we get the potato salad ready. I love that. All right. So we're going to turn that on low, and that should be enough. Oh, just leave it. Yep. So that's all going to that's all going to cook by itself now. About four rashes, do you think? Yeah, I mean, just a couple will do. So, yeah, that'll do, won't it? Hold it up now. ingredients are uh, ready now aren't they? All ready to go. Right we'll put these in here. The potatoes in the bowl, in this large bowl. So this is just the final mixing up of everything. Adding the uh, egg that we did there, chopped so eggs. There's three chopped eggs there aren't there? Mm -hmm. And boiled of course. 
bacon there that we're going to add some bacon into it to add a little bit of a extra to it aren't we honey so yeah American potato salad. I've never had it with bacon in before yeah, be nice there we are and we're going to add in some green pepper and some chopped onion as well so they're raw yeah. that looks really nice mm -hmm. <laughs> So there's one onion and one pepper in there. Uh -huh. Then we're just going to mix it all with mayonnaise, aren't we? Yeah. All right, so we've got two cups of mayonnaise here. We're going to mix into the um, potato salad. Right. So that's going to finish it off. Are you ready? It's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm just going to fold it over. I didn't realise there's so much mayonnaise in this. No, I know. There's a lot, in there. Is a lot yeah. This is a big recipe for a lot of people, isn't it? This is when you're doing a party mm. recipe. Right, so we're having a wicked time here. We're just putting all the lights up. So I've just managed to um, wrap those around there. We've got some flags here. So we've got some American flags. Um, might put those along the, the fence here. I'm not quite sure, actually. Idea, honey. I don't know. We need to think about it, don't we? Yeah, we'll have a think. And we've got the uh, we've got the brolly. <laughs> so we've managed to put these along the fence and loop it around the um, fence post. <laughs> that looks good. I could get some tape and um, stick that up if you want. Barbecue is lit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I've got my lemon lights up. Look at that. Look at the state of the old 70s brolly, for goodness sake. Never mind. I know it's not exactly regatta style trimmings, but we're having fun, aren't we, Jay? I'll get them lit up later as well. And then we're going to get, put a table and chairs under here. Right, so I have come back inside to just get the burgers and the sausages out of the freezer. I'm going to start them off on the cooker and then take them out and um, finish them off on the barbecue when Jay's finished lighting it. Right, so it's a bit of a Bitty and Bobby barbecue to be honest. I'm just kind of using things up out of the fridge. Just, uh, I'm going to have to go and ask him what he wants really. You know when you like a barbecue and you really want to make the most of it, but we don't need that much food for two of us, so never mind. I've just got stuff all over this now. So I've got a couple of sausages in there. got some more sausages in here, uh, so I'll defrost them. And then I've got some chicken burgers and a couple of packets of beef burgers with a few in. And some corn sausages, so I'm going to ask him what he wants. Um, I'm definitely going to grill up a few burgers, I think, and the sausages. Right, so here's the ingredients for Jay's cheeky uh, Vimto or dirty Vimto. Who remembers drinking this back in the day? So it's a bottle of WKD and and a bit of port. Tastes just like Vimto. Um, this is my amaretto syrup. I'm going to put in this pineapple juice mixed with orange juice. So yeah, it really is just using up everything we've got. We did buy the drinks especially for July the 4th. But you know, since then we've eaten a lot of barbecues, a lot of the burgers and sausages, and we're just using up what we've got left. We've got a lemon meringue pie as well from Tesco to have for pudding. So yeah, can't be bad. Just defrosting the sausages now. So yeah, it's been a nightmare, honestly, having to make the potato salad as well, because we ran out of that. So yeah, that's the drinks for tonight. So we've been saved by the bell with these bake at home petty pans, because I didn't have any pods in, but thankfully these keep for ages, so I'm just going to do a few of these for the burgers. 